Hey bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. If I seem a bit lower energy today, it's because I am. Because this guy has been sucking the life out of me for the last several days, and you know what? I just need to dump it on you, bitch, because I'm so sick of him. I'm so, 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 so sick of him. I think if there's any human being in the world that I despise the most, it is Max Bishop. So let's get into it. I am, first of all, not afraid to say that Max Bishop is by far my least favorite human being to have ever existed and is probably one of the worst horse trainers ever. Honestly, I wouldn't even call him that. I'm just giving him the courtesy of trainer in my title so this video can get more views and more people can hate him along with me. Now, Max, I already know you're watching this video. I already know you're gonna try and do everything you can to take this video down or flag this video. And I just want you to know that everything I say and do in this video is fair use. So if you wanna come after me legally for whatever the fuck I'm about to say, I have every right to say what I wanna say about you because of all of the videos that I'm going to show to back up my sentiments and my stance against you and my hatred for you as a human being and as a animal trainer. One other thing I'm gonna say before I get into this is thank you so much to this page on Facebook who has been diligently collecting information on Max Bishop and his animal cruelty practices. One last thing I'm gonna say is the videos that I'm going to be showing are probably the most graphic videos that I've ever showcased in any video on my YouTube channel. And I want to give fair warning to anybody who clicked on this because if you are sensitive to graphic material, don't watch. Now, Max Bishop is clearly a satanic demon sent from hell, sent here to abuse everyone's animals under the guise of training. <laughs> Thank you. And I already know I'm gonna get so many fucking rednecks coming after me being like, this is how we train down here. This is how we do things down here. Yeah, well, maybe you should change. Max Bishop is the owner of a training program slash facility slash redneck piece of trash garbage dumpster fire. From this point forward, I'm gonna forfeit the usage of the word trainer because really like he does not deserve that title. On his Facebook page, it says, training mules and training horses, producing a safe quality stock, horses and mules for sale, training available for stock and people, clinics, trail ride. What this needs to say is abusing mules and abusing horses, producing garbage quality stock, abused and beaten down horses and mules for sale, and bullshit training advice available for stupid people. Come give me your money so I can abuse your animal. Love, Max Bishop. And I already know Max Bishop is gonna be like, oh, you're such a snowflake, you're such this, you're such that, I don't abuse my animals, I just have a hard hand. First of all, if you literally have Facebook pages about you called I Survived Max Mules, that literally highlight all of the abusive activities and shit that you do, there's something wrong. Which is funny because he posts shit like this, like, oh, people just love to hate, they just love to come for me. No, people don't like other people who abuse animals and don't know what they're talking about because they have small dicks and they wanna take out their anger on something that's helpless and can't fight back. Forcing animals to do shit, punching them in the face, literally forcing them to jump off of the sides of cliffs and fall 20 to 30 feet, Oh, no. Go. On. I'm trying. Now, Dad, damn it. He hasn't kicked before, has he? Hold on. Or, 
riding animals until they collapse from exhaustion or broken bones and then whipping them to try to get them to stand. teach her mule to lay down while she's here. <laughs> By God, no extra charge. <laughs> you know, oh, God. These animals have been so beaten down and so abused. It's honestly pathetic. They literally can't walk. And this guy has the audacity to sit on one of these mules and say, oh, well, the trainer wanted me to teach it how to lay down. Look at me. No, 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 Max. L look at you. Look at you. Behind bars. I love how the way that he wants to get a horse that's exhausted to stand up is by continuing to mentally and physically exhaust them by beating them and kicking them and screaming at them. That's not training. That's just abuse. So... <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> the reason I'm posting this video is because this man is not an unknown trainer. This man has more than 11,000 people who follow him, who follow his training and his Facebook page. Why? I don't even know. It's like the dark ages hit us. It's like everyone decided to just be stupid. There's not a single training practice I've seen on his page that's even remotely acceptable. 99% of the shit that you see him doing is abusive, and the other 1% is stuff that he copied from other trainers that he cuts out all of the abusive parts and puts it together to make it look like he has a well-trained animal. When realistically, if you look at how he's training the horses and mules behind the scenes, it's just abuse. This guy is the literal definition of breaking a horse. Breaking a horse originated from the old western cowboy days where people used to literally beat horses and break their spirits until they would just submit and never fight back anymore because they knew that they were going to get the shit beat out of them. What an amazing, amazing trainer. Christ. Oh my God, just uh, the pinnacle of horse training as a profession. You are actually demented. Now, exceptions to proper saddle fit are as if your mule is really, really broke and don't care and has learned to, to accept and tolerate. One of the things that's so interesting is he does all of this stupid shit. For example, what you just saw of him putting a saddle all the way up on a mule's neck. And he's like, look at how well-trained these mules are. They just accept anything. Any well-trained horse is going to react negatively to pain. And do you think that any animal would be comfortable with 200 pounds resting on their neck? Absolutely fucking lutely not. These animals are just accepting it because they know if they don't, they're going to be beaten or whipped or kicked or abused and shocked. Oh, did I mention this video where he's literally shocking a mule to get the mule to come to him and he's pushing it off as good training. First things first. Now, I'm not sure what happened in this video, but it honestly seems like the mule broke its leg from the sound of it. 
And yet he's just sitting there like, oh, let me put my hat back on. I'm not gonna say it because if I say it, then YouTube's gonna take this video down for bullying. You don't even deserve to breathe my air. You don't even deserve to breathe, to breathe my air. And of course, the cherry on top of the Sunday is riding a miniature pony and putting a miniature pony in pain, which we've already gone over why the 20% rule is so important. <laughs> this man needs to be called out by everyone because he is openly profiting off of the suffering of animals, which is not okay with me at all. And I hope that you watch this video, Max. I hope you watch this video and you fucking hate my guts because it is so mutual, buddy. Oh my God, it is so mutual. The fact that 11,000 plus people looked at this guy's page and said, oh, that seems like someone I wanna take training advice from, blows my mind. Damn it. There's literal evidence of him punching animals in the face and beating animals when they are exhausted, laying on the ground, and animals that have broken bones or forcing them to be in dangerous, sketchy situations where they can be seriously injured, putting animals in harm's way. And no one has investigated this guy yet. Matter of fact, people still pay him to train. Point is, Max is clearly gonna make it to heaven. So yeah, that was basically it. I don't really have anything else to say for this rant. It wasn't even really a video, which is why I didn't put much effort into it at all. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully I'll be in a much better mood for my next one. Bye.